In this tutorial, I'll show you how to light a simple scene using V-Ray and Gamma 2.2. This should give you a good starting point to light your products in. The first thing we need to do is go to Customize Unit Setup and change our units from generic units into metric millimeters. This will ensure that our lights render correctly. Next, create a sphere in our top viewport in the center of the scene. And then to create the floor, select a plane and in our top viewport, drag this around our sphere. Convert our plane to an editable poly and in the left viewport, select the edge and click, shift and drag this. Then apply Turbo Smooth to the plane. I prefer to work in Gamma 2.2, so to set this up, go to Rendering, Gamma LUT Setup, and make sure Enable Gamma and LUT Correction is ticked. Make sure it says 2.2 in each three of these boxes. Go to our render setup and assign V-Ray as our renderer. And then under color mapping, make sure Gamma is set to 2.2. For the rest of our render settings, change our anti-alias and filter. Turn on the environment reflection. And add a V-Ray HDRI material. drag this into your material slot as an instance and assign an HDRI to this. Next tick clamp output and sub pixel mapping and change our bright multiplier to 1.5. Under indirect illumination turn on GI and set our secondary bounce engine to light cache. Lower our settings here, it will render a little bit quicker. Also, make sure you enable the V-Rave built-in frame buffer. Next, we need to assign some simple materials to our scene. So go to our material editor and assign a V-Ray material to the floor. Also make the floor slightly reflective. and just change the gossiness slightly. To copy this material for our sphere and assign a different colour and then just apply that to our sphere. Next, add a V-Ray camera to our scene And set our view up to show the camera view and press shift F to enable the save frames. Then go through and change the following camera settings.
Next we need to add some lights to our scene. So go into your front viewport and under lights, V-Ray, add a V-Ray light. This will be our key light, which is the strongest light in the scene. Just change the multiplier to 3.5. Then just before we render our shot, just change the resolution. And make sure we've enabled show calculation phase. As you can see there's quite a dark area to the right of the image so to counteract this we add what's called a fill light. If we take our key light and make a copy of this and add that to the other side with a slightly lower intensity. Ok so now the shadows are evened out, we want to add a backlight to our scene, and make the intensity of this slightly lower and tell it to exclude our floor. Just position the lights like that. Before you render, just make sure all your lights are set to be invisible. I'm just going to make my sphere slightly more reflective. And to make our two lights slightly more intense. Also just reduce the vignette slightly. OK, next I'll create one more light for some hard shadows. I'll do this by copying our key light. And just scaling it down. also turn up its intensity. If I want to make those shadows softer, I scale my V-Ray light up and dial the intensity down, or if I want them sharper, I scale the light down and dial the intensity up. So this should now give me much sharper shadows. I'll just revert back to my previous settings so our shadows are a lot softer. There's just one more setting we need to change. And this is don't affect colours. 
tick this box because it makes sure the colours are in a linear workspace so we can edit this information later in post you'll notice the render is now a lot darker so to correct this tick the sRGB option in the render window our studio should now be complete to check everything's correct I'm just going to import some materials I've made previously To reduce this noise in a final render, go to our render settings and under V-Ray, max subdivs, make this higher and also make our noise threshold lower. If you find your render times taking too long, dial this setting back up and dial this setting down until you find a balance that works. going to move my shadow light and then render a final image If I know I'm going to be applying any post to my image, the last thing I'll do is render in passes. To do this, go to your render setup and under render elements, click on add. I always render a Z depth pass, a reflection pass, specular pass, and a material ID. You might want to add some more of them if you need to. If I save my file as an EXR, all these render elements will be stored with the file so I can edit them later. And just make sure the gamma is set to 2.2. To check the different layers that have been saved out, click this drop down box and select the different passes. So that should give you a good scene to start rendering your products in.